Today we are going to show you a review of a Finnish summer dress. We haven't showed you the Finnish clothes for a long time, and we have so many of them in our studio. Each time I want to show you a review, I decide that you need some new model and techniques more. This sundress was made using my 10 measurement system. Some people think that it's much easier to see a sundress, because it has only two stripes instead of a sleeve. Actually, sundress is harder to make than a usual dress. How to make an upper fit you so well? Put a tracing paper pattern on a person. I showed you how to cut out a pattern for a sundress. So put it on a person and draw these lines the way you want them to be. Draw them all on a tracing paper. Then measure the length of the shoulder straps and only then design the upper part of the sundress. Watch the video about how to make the sundress patterns. The shoulder straps are not too wide. And here is also another strap, just for decoration, a strap with the flounce. We attach it to the other shoulder strap here. It's a very simple sundress. Here we have two reliefs. We hide the tucks here, both the chest and the waist ones. You don't have to make the reliefs. We have them at the back too. The skirt is half circled. No, I was wrong, it's flared. It's flared from the middle, because we have a wrap here and here, and the dress is buttoned like a dressing gown. Now I'll tell you about the flounces. It's actually just one flounce. It starts here and ends here. It was cut in a helix shapes form. It goes down, follows the bottom a bit, and then it goes up to the middle, makes a turn, goes back down, along the bottom line, and turns back again. It just seems hard. The flounce was edged with a rolled seam. You need to measure the flounce in advance and prepare it. You can make any flounce you like. The fit is perfect. When seeing a detachable item, you should always remember about the horizontal line. Otherwise, it would hang down at the back and dry it up at front. Check the horizontal line when fitting. You can even pin it so that it's straight. Or take a ruler and measure from the floor. Have a look at the flounce. It turns back and forth. It's because it was cut in a circular manner. Look at this wave. It's even. Everything looks very good. The placket is absolutely straight. It was made in accordance with the ruler. The edge is covered inside. We have a left seam on the sides. It's not processed with a novel lock. The bottom was processed with the baby ham, the flounce with the rolled seam. We've already showed you how to work with the baby ham. Practice, guys, and you'll be able to do it. I'll undo the buttons and show you bodies from the inside. Theoretical understanding of how to make things is far from practical application. Notice that we have a slant 1 mm seam here. So we glued a salvage for bodies not till the stretch. You see? No folds or waves. We have a perfect straight line here because of the glued salvage. Just look how thin is the seam. The bodies is packed with a fine cambric. We haven't used an overlock here. Look how perfectly is made a bodice. We wanted to make a lining for the whole dress, but the customer said that it's too hot for that. I'm not showing off, I just wanted to learn from what you see. 
such design should not be made from a fabric with a huge ornament. Use dotted fabric or some small ornaments on silk or chiffon, maybe some small flowers. Geometric patterns won't look good here neither. Dotted fabric is the best for such sundresses. I took a bra off this dummy and the chest part doesn't fit that well anymore. You can see how the relief was sewn. Such design with the very small details is hard to make of the fabric with complicated ornaments. Today we showed you a review of a finished dress. Maybe you'll see something similar. Or maybe you'll try to make a cambic lining for a bodice. Someone likes the skirt, someone likes the flounce, maybe you'll decide to make such one or a similar along the placket, for example. It depends on your imagination. I want to make something with flounces for myself. When I come outside, I look at people and think how boring they are. Guys, let's try to make the world more beautiful ourselves. I talked to one lady yesterday and she said that soon we all be wearing just tops and jeans, no interesting designs. No way. We'll try to make the world beautiful. We are Pauk Shterin Mikhailovna and Yastrebov Alexei. Goodbye.